Hello everyone! 18 minutes does not go very far, so we um, were talking about some more homemade stamps. But I wanted to do a little bit about some homemade stencils. Um, we all love stencils. Well, I really like stencils, and I just love the way that page turned out. Um, it will be fun to do something else on this page. Um, and I look forward to coming back to it someday. Um, Here's a page that I used a baby wipe and some acrylic paint on, and it would be perfect to show a little bit of stenciling. Um, I do enjoy um, finding things to stencil. Um, and before we go much further, some more stamping ideas. Um, this is a pot holder and trivet. I got this at Walmart. It is wonderfully great for stamping. Let's find it. Empty page. And I moved it. You can stamp with the whole thing like that or you can just use part of it if you fold it up against itself and just use part of it. Great for textures and all that good stuff. Love this thing. I think I got it in the dollar bin too. I'm almost sure I did. And another thing that I absolutely love to stamp with, let's use a different color. I, you've t I've talked about my flip-flop before. <laughs> I love bottoms of shoes. Um, I will go up to people and ask to see the bottoms of their shoes just to see what is there. Um, flip-flops are the most famous for having wonderful tread, I guess is what you call it. Um, but it makes a great pattern love this flip-flop. I've been using this quite a bit and I like to spritz it too. I like to spritz these these dies. It kind of distorts it a little bit and I just really like the way it looks. So that is my famous flip-flop that I love. So I got to thinking about flip-flops today and shoes today. So I went through my closet to find other things to do and I found this floral design, believe it or not. Let me, oh, see, here's the flip-flop again. I do like the flip-flop. Let me use this and I haven't tried this one yet so I don't know how good it's going to be. Let's see. Oh, it didn't turn out very well at all. Nope, don't like it. Okay. So, let's try this one. If all else fails, try again. I'm going to have to take a baby wipe to my shoes now. I don't think it's getting any ink on there. I think that might be the problem. The tread is too good. Stepping all over this. Oh, that didn't turn out too bad. Let's try that again. Let's put some more on over here. Adds a little bit of color. Get that ink off of there. And then I found, I found two more. Some tennis shoes that I have been wearing a bit. Um, let's get a different page out here. Maybe a different color. I know Stream works real well. 
I like those little triangles right there. So I'm just going to ink up those triangles or those diamonds and see what happens. Not too bad. You have to do it more often. So there's more diamonds all over the place. Hmm. Okay, so that's that one. And the last one I found has some little ridges on it. We'll use this one. Let's see how those work. Not too bad. Some lines. So, yep, check out your shoes. They might be some really interesting stuff in there. So, then I wanted to talk about stencils, and I do like to find um, things that will stencil. Um, this is something that I really like to use. And let's find a different page just because it's so you can see the pattern. Um, I'll use red. I'm going to use a makeup sponge and just do a little bit of this. This was um, on top of the clementine box. It was a box of clementines and this was the little netting thing that was on top of it. And I save potato sacks sometimes have an interesting little netting. Um, a lot of different fruits, if you find them in a box or something, will have netting on top of them to keep them in the box. And you can find some interesting designs. So that is that one. It's kind of like a fish scale, I think. But I like that one. Do some random ones over here. Um, another thing you can do, I don't have a brush over here. Is you can ink ink the the stencil or whatever you're using and get a damp brush. I'm gonna have to miss this a little bit. And you brush the ink off the stencil and it kind of gives you a watercolor effect which is kind of nice if you want just a light bit of color. Um, here's another something that I found. This one is shelf liner, I believe. I think I got it at um, the dollar store. Sorry. The dollar store or something like that. Um, and I would have to use one of those dusters to get the ink through, I think. I hope it's not coming through at all. You know what I think I used to do with this one is ink it like that and then turn it over and use it like a stamp. And there we go with some checkerboards. I like checkerboards. And here's another one. This is a piece of plastic that comes in the shirt collar when they package up shirts all nice and folded and stuff. They put these in the collar to, to make them stiff and look nice. Um, they're interesting for, for some lines to stencil through. Just a little bit of something. So keep your eye out for something like that. And another thing is homemade stencils. Just regular pieces of paper is what I've used here. This one um, was just a, 
like a star shape, like a like you're folding a paper for snowflakes. Um, and that's all it is. Of course, I'm going to make a mess. Spraying without having any protection all over anything. Um, but, you know, that's what I do. I make a mess. So I'm going to use a little bit. And this is not lying real flat. So we'll try to make it lie flat. Try not to spray everything. So that's just a Tattered Angels mist I got it Tuesday morning. And it didn't spray really well. Um, but it does. I mean, I, I don't think I shook it up really well. I probably needed to. Um, and you know what? I'm just going to smoosh that there and good thing about inks is they don't stick. We like that they don't stick. I do anyway. Now it's going to go all over the place. We'll let it drip over here. I don't have any paper towel. Oh yes I do. All right. So another thing I like to do is make magazine pages that I'm getting ready to throw away that I couldn't find anything out of into a stencil. And I will accordion fold the paper, not very neatly. I just, it's not accurate or anything. I just accordion fold. And this one I cut out um, wedges on either side of the paper. You make sure that you don't cut all the way through so it stays in one piece. Then you try to flatten it out. Now you can iron it or whatever. I should get some better sprays to spray with. And let's try and see. I've tried to get it as flat as possible so that it will do some some stuff. It doesn't want to lay flat. That's flat enough. buy stencils. Um, it's kind of fun just to make your own stencil um, out of paper and you know once it's so wet that you can't do anything with it you can just make another stencil. That turned out pretty well. I'm going to turn it over <coughs> Excuse me, and press it on the other side to so use up some of that ink. And there is just a paper stencil. Something more to use. Um, and the possibilities are endless what kinds of designs you can make into these. Like I said, this one was just um, a snowflake kind of fold. I think I folded it that way. And then I folded it that way. And then I made cuts in it and open it up and fold it again and made more cuts. So it's just uh, a flower snowflake, snowflake kind of thing. So that is that one. And this is another, I don't know what it is. I have no idea. I think I got this out of a junkyard. Um, the places that I go to find stuff. Um, let me use some of this one. Oh, it's pink. And I'm going to press the rest of it over here. It makes some interesting polka dots. So you can do a lot of stuff with inks. 
and homemade stencils. I mean, you can find all kinds of stuff that will make stencils. Um, and you don't have to go buy stencils. Cut them yourself. Um, another thing that's nice is um, of course I don't have any scissors over here. This is a piece of packaging and I am just going to cut it down for the flat part. Just so I have it, I can get to it. So I've just got this flat piece left, and I've got some. Here's a star punch, but you can use circles, you can do whatever, and punch into it. It a couple times. You can do it all over the place actually. And make a star stencil. Find a different page. This red worked really well. It's going to be too big though. Let's see if this one works. Yeah. I'm going to dip that ink all over the place. Spatter it. Use it up. Now you can't see the stars because I did that. Um, another thing you can use that for, now that you've made a little stencil, is you can use your makeup sponge and just uh, stencil stars. Just like that. That's a, a very easy way to make stencils. Um, the, hole, the regular round hole punches, you can make you know, little circles and, and do that as well. Um, a lot of stuff you can do with that. So, giving you some ideas on um, some things to do. Got gobs of ink on this page now. And I hope that you guys will take these ideas and run with them and come back with me with new ideas like happened, what happened before. Um, come join us in Art Experiments on Facebook and share some of your ideas. We would love to sit here and play with new things. I'm going to do some ink smushing, just put some color on this page. This book needs some more color. And we're going to run out of time. So that's a little bit of stenciling. And I'll come back and we'll play in this book a little bit more. Add some more color. So thanks for watching.